All right, here we have an iPad Pro 12.9 that came in for no power. We already removed the screen and the cover that sits over here. We're gonna troubleshoot and see why this tablet is not powering on. The first thing I wanna do is check and see if our charging port and TriStar is good. We have a TriStar tester here. We plug it in. Fail. It's a fail. So that tells me that the problem is the TriStar chip. Now, what if you do not have this TriStar tester? How can you find out if the problem is the TriStar chip? You can use something like this, which costs less than $5. We plug this tiny circuit board down at the charging port, and we test. What are we testing for? This is not 100% accurate, but it can give me an idea on whether the TriStar chip is good or not. If you look here, we have points. We have a lot of points on this board here. And one of the points is ground, which is this one right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the multimeter in diode mode. We're gonna place the red probe on pin number eight and we're gonna test the rest of the pins. I know for a fact that a lot of the pins on here should test around 0 0.750 based on my experience testing other iPads. And this one here should be around 0.8 one nine or 0 0.830 and anything more than 0 0.82 or 0 0.83 can indicate or can be an indication that we have a bad tristar chip so let me just put the meter here if you can see it and meter in diode mode that's good that's good let's test this pin here should output the same this pin here should output the same now i'm concerned about this pin here. Look at this, it's outputting 0 0.845. I know from experience testing other iPad Pros 12.9 that the output on this pin should be around 0 0.819, 0 0.820. I've seen it sometimes at 0 0.830, but this one is way above, 0 0.845. I have another iPad here, iPad Pro 12.9, and maybe we can test this one. This has a good TriStar chip. We just finished working on it for a customer. Let's go ahead and test. I want to test this specific pin here. Look at this, 0 0.820, and that's the normal reading for iPad Pro 12.9. If we test the rest of the pins, 0 0.52, good, 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 good. This one on the bottom should be 0 0.5. 9.3, okay, and the one in the center should be 0 0.5. So those two are the same, this and this, 0 0.593. We're going to test. Good and good. So the only thing that we see high is this pin here which is currently outputting 0 0.845. So using this tiny board here can help in finding out if you have a bad TriStar chip. It may not be fault proof, but it can give you an indication whether your TriStar chip is good or not. And in our case, it did give us the indication by showing us the 0 0.845, and that's higher than usual. Our TriStar tester did show us a fail. So let's go ahead and replace the TriStar chip and hope for the best. And now where can we find the TriStar chip on this board? Guess where? It's right next to the FEC connector. Right next to the FEC connector. From all this board here, Apple chose to put the TriStar chip right next to the FEC connector. So we have to be careful not to burn out this connector. And we have to focus the heat on this area of the board. We can probably use some aluminum tape. And the reason I like to use aluminum tape is because it reflects heat away. Unlike Captain Tape, which can actually absorb heat, aluminum will reflect heat away. I'm going to put another layer of that aluminum tape.
and I'm going to use a narrow nozzle to remove this chip. And of course, we have to note where pin number one is. Right now, pin number one is bottom right, as I have the board oriented, right here. Right now, I'm using a narrow nozzle, so we do not spill a lot of heat to a lot of areas on the board. And we're going to apply leaded solder so we can clean those solder pads. Good enough. apply flux and now we're gonna use the awesome technique of hot tweezers and a wick I went over this technique in many of my videos we're gonna cut off a piece of the wick and we're gonna grab it with our hot tweezers Now we're gonna brush off those solder balls. That is amazing. That is amazing. And that's it. Let's apply some flux. You can find those TriStar chips on our site. The same TriStar chip works on almost all iPhones and iPads. The chip is already rebolt, so we can just put it on and reflow it. So I'm going to hold it down maybe the first 5-10 seconds. Let go. It's solid in place. And now we're going to reflow that chip down. Okay. Job is done. We tapped it, it moved back. That tells us that all the solder balls are soldered properly onto the pads. Let it cool down a bit and we're gonna test again to see what readings we get. And look at the connector intact because we covered it with the aluminum tape so we did an excellent job all we have to do is test all we have to do is test before we test let me turn off that fume extractor I just want to see if it's a pass or fail. Pass. Okay. Let's test using the other tester, which is this one here. Our $5 tester. Now, I want to specifically test that one pad that had an output of 0 0.845. And I told you it should be somewhere like 0 0.830 or 0 0.820. Rat probe on ground. Actually, I have this backward. Pin number 8 
is ground, which is this one here. So that's pin number eight right here. And look at that. It's back to 0 0.823. That's good. So one more time. Test pin number four, 0 0.824. Great. Before, it was displaying 0 0.845 which is a clear indication that we have a problem with the TriStar chip. So to be honest with you, you do not need to spend money to buy a TriStar tester. You do not need a TriStar tester. Sometimes using a $5 board will give you a very good indication whether the TriStar chip is good or not. Now this is not a bulletproof or foolproof method, but it works 80-90% of the times. I'm going to give this to Big Boss to reassemble and we'll test together to make sure that the tablet is working. Okay, so Big Boss reassembled the tablet and he did confirm that the tablet is working. Just bad news for the customer, his screen, the touch is not working. So even though we fixed the tablet, the customer screen, there's a problem with the touch. We installed our screen and this is ours here and touch is working. So that tells us that the customer screen is not good, but that's not why this tablet came over here. We're going to let the customer know that his screen, the touch is not working and it's up to him if you want to replace it or not. All right, so plug it in. And what do we see? 0 0.97 charge. The tablet is on, okay? So the TriStar did fix the problem. Everything is good. We have a shipment coming in for those cards. You can purchase them from our website. And that's it. Let me know what you think about the TriStar testing method using the board. And I'm going to end it right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.